sit back, relax, and see where your mind takes you. Immerse yourself in a story and dive into endless possibilities. The smallest details may become the most significant, while obvious clues lead to nowhere. Either way, you'll shape the narrative, sculpt the characters, and may even reach an outcome. We set the scene, but you will decide this story. So, let's begin. Sitting motionless in the sedan, my heart pounds in my chest, frantically and savagely beating away at the ribbed prison around it. The thick fabric of the black pillowcase presses against my face, rendering me sightless and my sense of direction useless. The muffled sounds of the bustling city streets are amplified with precision within my ears, as the car wheezes through traffic and as I am transported deeper into a realm of uncertainty and potential regret. My hands clench tightly, jagged, worn and stress-bitten fingernails digging into my palms as doubt and guilt wage brutal and bloody war within my mind. I had dedicated my life to upholding justice, to serving the people, but the events of the past few months have left me questioning everything that I once believed in. With every passing minute, my guilt intensifies, intermingling with determination. I know that once I step out of this car, there will be no turning back. The world I once knew would crumble, and I would become an outcast, a renegade seeking the truth amidst a web of lies. My mind races with fragmented images of colleagues. Agent Dawson, whose dedication and loyalty had inspired me from my very first day in training. Agent Ramirez, who despite my setbacks and controversies during the earlier years, had always believed in my abilities. And the one I called my mentor, Special Agent Thompson, whose teachings had shaped me into the agent that I had become today. His decades of service left him an everlasting legacy as one of the best we've ever had. Were these comforting and wholesome memories on the cusp of being shattered into a million tarnished fragments? The possibility of losing them leaves me with a bitter taste in my mouth and a dark pit in the corners of my stomach. The past few months have been the toughest of my entire career, but I can only predict that what is yet to come will be much, much worse. Three months ago, I had been assigned to lead an investigation, to look into the life of a man with at least on the surface, an incredibly ordinary and unremarkable life, but according to the Bureau, a darker and more underground reputation for ruthless efficiency. The evidence against him had seemed airtight, linking him to the heinous murder of a fellow agent, whom I also held a friend. I had spent the first few weeks with a personal vendetta, abandoning sleep in exchange for seemingly endless late nights piecing together information. But the more I scratched at the surface of this peculiar tragedy, Something gnawed deeply at me, creating a lingering doubt that whispered relentlessly within the confines of my rattled skull. As I pushed deeper and deeper, inexplicable discrepancies appeared. Hidden motives worried me, and covert operations that cast a shadow of doubt over all of the findings. The more I unearthed, the more I became convinced that he could have been framed, a pawn in a larger game of power and deception. The worst part? I can't help but shake the suspicion that the ones closest to me are a part of it. And now, with the pillowcase over my head, I grapple with conflicting emotions. My pursuit of the truth has led me here. I received contact last night, a phone call, the voice shrouded in anonymity. Through offering the chance to uncover the truth, I was burdened through the early hours with a choice. A choice of potentially betraying the loyal foundations within my team or betraying my own sense of justice and instinct. The car's engine hummed softly as it begins to slow, the vibrations coursing through my body. I imagine myself at a metaphorical crossroads, with one path leading to redemption, and the other to irreversible damnation. The weight of my decision continues to press down on me. Doubt claws at my conscience, reminding me of the careers I could tarnish, the lives and relationships at stake, and the chaos that this one meeting could unleash. But deep down, my heart believes that this is the right path to take, that I'm sacrificing all that I know and love for a much greater cause. As the car comes to a halt, the engine cuts, and the silence seems to reverberate within me. My heart skips a beat, a mix of apprehension and resolve. 
the moment had arrived, the culmination of my decision to forsake my own belief in our system and embrace the possible darkness that awaits. The car door opens and firm hands wrap around my tense arms, guiding me out of the warmth and into the biting night. In one swift movement, the dark facial cover is ripped from over my head as my face is exposed to the cold. I blink desperately against the sudden light, my eyes adjusting to the surroundings. As the blurred images dance and form precise shapes, they focus in on a pair of dark eyes in front of me, eyes filled with both gratitude and dangerous suspicion. The scene is set, the story now awaits. The possibilities are endless, and every interpretation will be unique. Now, it's your turn. Over to you. Hello everyone, and thank you for listening to this story. Who is our character going to meet? Are they right about the framing? Or in your story, do these details matter? We can't wait to see where your mind takes you.